if you're coming in from Salisbury, you would have come up Castle Street, up Castle Road, past the castle, down the hill, and you'll come to the Beehive Roundabout. If you take a, and you'll take a right there. If you're coming from Amesbury, you would have come in on the A345 and then turn left at the Beehive Roundabout. If you're coming from Ford or Laverstock, you'd be coming in from that direction along the port, uh, along the portway, not Ford, Porton, Laverstock, Winterbournes. If you're coming from the Beehive Way, what you'll see first is roundabout with an Iron Age axe head on. It looks like a whale tail. You'll go straight over that roundabout, straight through the set of lights. But either way you're coming, what you're looking for is these Hendy garages, the Kia, the Skoda, and the Land Rover. To this set of traffic lights in front of me, where you're gonna turn into the old Sarum Estate there. If you're on the bus, you would have got the PR11. It starts at Iceland on Castle Street, comes up Castle Road. Uh, you'd have asked for a return to Old Serum Estate. And we'll wait for the lights to change. So the bus will go, it won't go in the Beehive at the minute and it will turn left, same as where we're going. So you'll see, if we're on the bus, you'll see a bus stop coming up in a second. Keep an eye out for that bus stop because when you go past it, that's when you're going to ring the bell to get off. So there's the first bus stop on the estate straight past that and in the car you've coming at the lights and it is literally one straight road so you just keep going following it round this is Sherborne Drive we're on at the minute Sherborne Drive runs round the entire estate As we come round this corner in a sec, you'll see the bus stop that you'll get off on if you're on the bus, which is right there. So that's the one you'll get off at. It's next to Robin Road. And then you'll see Norman Drive straight in front of us, and this is where we are. So we'll turn right here, and you can see the A board on the drive, and you'll park on the drive here, okay? He says, and then there's the cabin straight in front of us. If the drive is occupied when you turn up, it means you're a little bit early and the last appointment is still here. If you continue up and you see the green land there, you can park next to it on the hedge. If you park there and wait for the next car to leave and then See, there's a big sign on the side of the house so it's quite obvious with an a board on the front and the cabin at the back